Well, remember that fireball we told you about last night, the one that lit up the early morning sky from eastern Quebec to Nova Scotia? What you just saw was new video of it from New Brunswick. But wait, there's more. This is from a webcam in Digby, Nova Scotia. So why are we still talking about this meteor? Because we received word today that another meteor fell about 24 hours later, again on the East Coast, again in the wee hours of the morning. Now, we don't have pictures of that one yet, but we do have national science correspondent Bob McDonald with us. He's joining us tonight from Victoria. Bob, how unusual is it to have two meteors so close together like this? Well, actually, Peter, it's not that unusual at all because the Earth is always getting hit by debris from space. What is unusual is that everybody's got a webcam now on their phone, so we're seeing them more, and their pictures are being posted online. But uh, we actually do pick up about 100 tons of material. you got to remember the fact that the Earth is moving through space as we whiz around the sun. We're actually doing 100,000 kilometers an hour, and space isn't as empty as you think. We're always running into stuff like, uh, you know, hitting dirt on a highway when you're going on your car. And the reason that they're seeing them at 5 o'clock in the morning is because around that time of day as the Earth turns, you're coming around to the front side of the Earth as we move through space. So you're actually underneath the windshield as these things, uh, as we run into them. So that's why they're seeing more of them. But otherwise, it's not unusual to have objects hitting the Earth. It happens all the time. Well, if it happens all the time, how, how dangerous is it for us? Well, the kind that uh, happened over New Brunswick and Nova Scotia over the last couple of days are pretty small. Uh, they're maybe the size of your fist, perhaps the size of your head. So they don't do too much damage, but the ones that could give us trouble are the kind that hit uh, Chibillions a couple of years ago. I have some animation here of some of the marauders that are out in space. The ones that we need to worry about are the, the ones that are the size of a school bus, the size of a house or a 10-story building. They carry a lot of energy. And those things go by every couple of weeks. And if one of them was to come straight down into our atmosphere, they would carry the energy of several nuclear weapons. And if they came down over a city, uh, that could do a lot of damage. And it astounds me that we do not have any kind of defense system against these things uh, because we don't see them coming. We can't see them in our telescopes until they're only a couple of days out. And so I'm suggesting that we have some kind of missile defense system that's for asteroids that would be at the ready to go anytime to get these things out of the way. So they're always coming our way. We just don't have a way to to protect ourselves yet. All right. Hope somebody's listening. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Bob McDonald okay, Peter. in Victoria tonight.